Hi, this is Keith Young with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a torn edges effect that you can add to your photographs and images. Now, the key to this effect is going to be using the brush tool, and I'm also going to show you how that you can apply a mask to your image or even create a new layer that is fully editable that you won't be you know doing anything to your images you you won't be destroying your base image or um, doing any damage to it I'm going to show you how to make sure that this effect stays on its own layer okay so in order to get started what we're going to do is open up a new document I am going to choose one of the presets that Photoshop has from uh, photo and then I'm going to, just going to choose the landscape 4 by 6 click OK. I am going to go down to my rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw out a rectangle. It really doesn't matter what color it is. Uh, make sure it's dark enough so you can see. I'm just choosing this blue color so that we can see how the effect is going to work. Now what I'm going to do is go to my brushes tool, click on the tool options bar, and you need to be able to see the names of your brushes so if you can't see the names if you just see some icons here what you need to do is click here and then choose small list what we're going to do is choose the chalk 17 pixels brush as a base and then we're going to modify it from there now we're going to go over to the actual brushes dialog box so that we can modify this a bit Now we're going to make some changes in the brushes dialog box. So um, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on shape dynamics and I want you to change or we're going to change the size jitter from z make sure it's set to 100 and then change the angle jitter to about 50 percent. The roundness jitter set that to 25 and then make sure that flip x jitter and flip y jitter are checked. The next thing we're going to change is scattering. Choose set the scattering for 100 percent, the count to 1 and the count jitter to 0 percent. Now for the texture what I want you to do is choose the wrinkles texture. This one here now if you don't have this texture loaded what you need to do is click over here on this button and then choose the patterns textures and this will load all these textures over here in this box so I'll just go ahead and do that to show you how it works when this dialog box pops up replace current patterns with the patterns from patterns go ahead and click append and that will add the patterns to the end of the patterns that you already have selected so it won't delete any of the patterns that you have in the palette it will just add them to the end and then you can choose the wrinkles texture and then set make sure the scale is set to 100 percent and you can set the depth to about 50 percent okay from there click on other dynamics set the opacity jitter to about 50 percent and then down here click on wet edges and make sure that smoothing is checked as well now we have a nice base in which to uh, go ahead and start adding our effect I'm gonna turn this layer effect here off clear that layer style now we're ready to get started on this shape layer what I'm going to do first is I'm going to activate a layer mask so I'm going to kind of bring this up so you can see it a little bit better and I'm going to click on the add layer mask button now with my brush tool you can see it's kind of is very tiny and I need it to be a lot bigger so what I'm going to do is hit the right bracket key on the keyboard to make this brush larger So let's see. That's pretty good right there. I'll, I'll start with this and see how this works. I'm going to change my 
foreground color to black so I'm just gonna click on this default icon here and then switch these so that my foreground color is black and now I'm going to just go ahead and start painting on this layer mask now you can see that for one you can see this little outline here of the shape layer what I'm going to do is hit control H or command H on a Mac to hide that so that that's not in our way but you can see you can kinda see through that initial brush that I just laid down the way this brush works is that you actually build up build up the effect so it really adds a nice realistic torn edge to the edges of whatever image that you would have under here so the first pass is going to be semi-transparent and then you go over it again to build up the effect and add more opaque areas because of that the wet edges and the semi opaqueness that we set in the brush is going to allow us to really build this up and just so you can see that's why we have this edge here you can kind of see through that edge a little bit what I'm going to do is reduce the size of my brush by hitting the left bracket key or you can just go over here to the brushes panel and reduce the size here and I'm going to get in closer to that edge there so that I make sure that I completely make all these ed the, the edge here so that I can't see that white edge underneath at all. I want that to be 100% opaque. So I'm just going to keep going over this particular area down here around the edges so that I can just see my torn edge. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so that you can see a detailed area. You see how that edge is actually, it goes from uh, dark to faded. It really looks like a nice torn edge. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we did a layer mask for this particular uh, shape layer. But you may not want to do that. I'm going to show you another method. After you've created this torn edge around your image in a layer mask, what you can do is hit control on your keyboard to load that as a selection. And what it's going to do is load all this inside area as a selection. Then you can go to select and then inverse. We're going to add a new layer. Inside that new layer, what we're going to do is fill that with white. So I'm just going to hit Alt and Backspace or Option Backspace on the Mac to go ahead and fill that area in with white. And then I'm going to create a, I'm going to hide this initial layer mask and I'm going to create a new one. And uh, let's change the color. Red. Deselect that. And now I'm just going to draw underneath here and now you can see that pretty much whatever I put underneath there underneath this torn edge layer I'm just gonna go ahead and rename that right now uh, we will have that same edge it'll look the same and this image is untouched or this layer is untouched so that's a couple ways to do it you can actually create the torn edge in a mask or you can create or copy and paste the torn edge into its own layer so that you can place layers beneath it uh, and you can just keep adding in your photos or images and you'll have a torn edge uh, template so I hope this t tutorial was helpful let me know if you have any more uh, questions about creating this effect as I was doing research for trying to find different ways to do this there's, there's about a dozen ways to do a similar this or a similar type of effect so this one I thought was the easiest and most versatile and uh, have fun with it. Thanks.